Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me today for these moments of devotion with our Good Shepherd Jesus. I'd ask you to read Galatians chapter 4, verses 1 through 7. Am I really saved? Did I do enough? These sorts of questions are born out of the law, which always demands and never gives. The law frightens us. Its commands leave us with no excuse, and its threats leave us with no escape. Conversely, the gospel, God's promise of grace, demands nothing of us, but gives everything to us, including our works of righteousness done in faith. It proclaims to us that Jesus has done everything necessary for our salvation, that we are forgiven of our sins for the sake of his vicarious death, which means in our place, and resurrection for us, and creates us anew to live before God in righteousness and purity, here in time and for eternity. Christ has conquered the law for you. By, his vic by this victory of his, Christ has driven the law to flight from our conscience so that it can no longer confound us in the sight of God or bring us to despair and condemn us. Of course, it doesn't cease manifesting our sin, accusing, terrifying, but when the conscience takes hold of this word of the apostle, Christ has redeemed us from the law. It is encouraged by faith and receives comfort. Luther wrote that as he found the comfort of the gospel that separated him from the demands of the law that he couldn't fulfill. God sends his Holy Spirit into our hearts to comfort us with his word of gospel. As Luther writes again, now it is time to turn your eyes away from the law, from works, and from your own feelings and conscience, to lay hold of the gospel and to depend solely on the promise of God. Thus there is admitted a little sigh which silences and drowns out that violent roaring, and nothing remains in your heart but the sigh that says, Abba, Father. In the hours of horrible darkness, when surrounded by anxieties and fear, when you feel that God hates you and has banished and deserted you, his word makes us certain that God has cast away all his anger and hatred toward us when he gave his only son for our sins. The sacraments, absolution, also make us certain for if God did not love us, he would never have given us these. And so we cry out, Abba, Father, and God smiles. We pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege of calling you Father. May your word always assure me that nothing can separate me from your love in Jesus Amen. Well, my friends, find joy and comfort in being able to call out to God, Abba, Father, Daddy. Amen.